So now I'm going to show an example of how to update a panel in one of these figures. Um, so maybe I want to first add a new panel um, just to highlight this. So I'm going to go to here because uh, I realize I don't have a legend. So I can sort of use um, one of the panels to sort of highlight the legend. Uh, so we can edit the artboards and maybe we'll drag this up. We'll go into place and this actually can highlight the um, advanced import options. So with import options turned on, we can select one of these. And so we can go to one of the pages, say I want to insert the seventh page. Um, you want to make sure you turn off the artboards before you do that as a, a warning. So unselecting the artboards, let's do that again. Um, place this page, last panel, throw it in there. Um, and so, Uh, well, you, and so if we have this sort of saved and we modify this round, we'll notice I made like a typo. There's still a G sitting in there. So, you know, instead of like going into Illustrator and actually modifying the text here, it's better to usually go back and recreate the PDF. Um, and so say I changed the code on the cluster. Um, that file should have been updated here. And so all you have to do to update the panel is just drag the file or just update its path on your computer. Um, and so what'll happen is it'll say it's open, so we can close that, retry it, um, it'll update, and then you'll get this message saying, hey, some files are missing or modified, do you wanna update them? And you say yes, you'll see that the G disappeared and also the, the jitter changed a little bit because it's sort of a random process. Um, that would allow you to basically update panels by just uploading the location on your computer where that file sits. It's important to note it has to have the same name, um, although you can manually relink um, some of these files yourself um, if you have to.